So even though I have over seven years of experience of filming and making videos, I still happen to forget to hit record. But yeah, so in this video, I wanted to walk you through my wireless audio setup that I captured for a panel uh, discussion for a client that I worked with this past week. And also I'll go back and forth between some of the BTS that I got from the event to kind of just walk you through what the setup looked like and how it sounded. So yeah, this is just me getting ready for the day, uh, packing up uh, my car already packed the night before so I can just be ready to go and pack my gear into the car. So first of all, my name is Jamal. I'm the owner of Creative Gene. Uh, it's a event video production company that I run and I am based in Vegas. Uh, started filming interviews about seven years ago and then now I'm currently in Vegas filming events, just capturing content for businesses that they can use for generating new leads and potentially getting capital for uh, investing in their company. So yeah, I'm not really used to the morning traffic, so I left out about an hour early so I can make sure that I uh, get to where I need to. Uh, I'm actually going to the Venetian. It's po honestly probably one of the most underrated spots on the strip for sure. So yeah, even though the client sent me a map of where the restaurant was, I still managed to get lost in the Venetian, but uh, look at all this beautiful B-roll that I got of the place. It's honestly, like I said, one of the most underrated spots on the strip. But yeah, I eventually made it to the restaurant. So the place that I'm filming is going to be at the Mercado restaurant. I think it's an Italian spot. Uh, they have an event space in the back of the restaurant. Uh, this is where the Venn Collective is going to be hosting their workshop and panel. Uh, this is a look at the space. So it was at the Venetian. I was working with this client called the Venn Collective. They were hosting a workshop and they had uh, a couple of speakers uh, talk about um, uh, the flow of working with uh, different leaders in different industries and essentially just helping the executive team get into a state of flow uh, and improving their work output. So that's what the theme and what the client, uh, the, Venn comp uh, the Venn Collective is, that's something that they do um, for their business. They work with uh, executive level uh, C-suite uh, type of clients. But yeah, this is me setting up my camera. So I mostly shot handheld for this event. I put my camera on a gimbal to get more of like the event space and what it looked like and where I was shooting at. Uh, but yeah, I do like to shoot more handheld now since it's honestly easier on my body and I'm not carrying around that heavy gimbal a lot, but then also uh, I can quickly navigate within the space with myself shooting handheld on a smaller rig. So yeah, it's just a lot easier for me to be able to quickly maneuver and get to the best shots within the space. I connected with the AV tech and I was able to do an audio test uh, along with him so I can make sure that I'm actually getting the audio within the camera. Uh, so I bought some headphones so I can monitor the sound. But yeah, I used the Rode wireless uh, pro system uh, it's 32 bit float uh, the best thing that I like about 32 bit float is I don't really have to monitor it so it's one less thing I need need to do as uh, someone that films by themselves uh, and runs a uh, solo production for the most part uh, sometimes I do contract out uh, other creatives photographers videographers that I know in the Vegas area uh, if the client, you know, if the budget allows with the client, I'll hire them on for those types of uh, bigger projects. 
But yeah, I use the Rode Wireless Pro system to capture uh, the audio from an audio board during the during this event. What I did was I have my mic here, um, so I plugged in my receiver into the camera. Usually for uh, demonstration purposes, I actually record on the camera with the Rode Wireless system, but this is for demonstration purposes. I'm actually recording on the Zoom uh, F2. It's a field recorder. Um, it's also 32-bit float, so I don't have to monitor this as well. Um, this mic that I'm currently using, it's a lav mic, so you can hear it um, lobbed up right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to kind of show you and cut between some BTS of what the setup look like. So yeah, this is me doing a mic test and you can kind of also hear the music going on as well. So this is the audio board I had to work with. I plugged in my Rode wireless mic using the 3.5 millimeter uh, cable to the headphone adapter, which is a quarter inch. Uh, and I plug that into the monitor out so I can get all the audio from the audio board, such as the mics and uh, some of the music too. Uh, the, the, the audio tech was playing some music in between the speakers. Uh, so I can get all of that audio baked into the camera while I was recording. Yeah, I had the quarter inch here to, I don't know if you kind of kind of see it. There we go, a quarter inch. I just plug this adapter into there and then I plug this directly into the monitor out on the audio board and then I um, plugged in the mic I actually have the wind cover on here which is covering up the the uh, input for uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack the hip or yeah mic jack uh, people call it that, call it that too so yeah I plugged that into that so this is the the flow of the audio the audio flow I guess the signal flow is what you most people would call it uh, so I had the mic recording the audio from the audio board uh, and in order to get the audio I had to use this 3.5 millimeter cable TRS um, I don't know if TRRS works for the same uh, for works the same for capturing the audio from from the audio board uh, but I would recommend just getting a TRS uh, cable and here is some footage of the mic being used by the panelist nobody talks about someone who hit pink peak performance for a moment, right? Nobody's like, MJ was the best player for one game, right? Like, he was the best player for decades. Um, and so when I think about peak performance... So I actually flow, used my second mic to capture the room sound, just in case if there was any issues on the audio board um, so I can get all the audio from the room um, that way. And also, I can use that audio as ambient noise to blend in into the edit so it can sound as organic and in the room as much as possible. The client actually requested not to film the entire uh, session, the workshop, and the panels. They were solely focused on getting a recap video. So I did ask them if they wanted to use the panel for a future workshop or sell it with a membership, but they actually decided that they didn't want that. They just wanted the recap video and that was it. So you just make sure that you listen to your customers and don't try to upsell, upsell them with any additional uh, video edits or services because they might not actually want it or want to use it. Um, or they might not 
have the capacity or want to deal with uh, additional content that you might be able to provide for them. So yeah, sometimes all of your services is sometimes all of your services won't be the right fit for every customer. So yeah, just make sure that you're listening to what the client needs. So just capturing all the audio from the audio board and just simply recording everything that the audio board and um, that was uh, captured at the venue, just capturing everything within the mic and then baking that audio directly into the camera so I don't have to use any uh, external mics or miking up individually each person and then doing that all in post. So this saves a lot of time in the workflow of capturing audio directly into the uh, into your workflow of filming, especially if you're filming by yourself. So I also highly recommend you backing up your audio. So what I did was I bought a Rode um, adapter. It's a 3.5 millimeter. Um, trying to block my face so you can kind of see it. So it's a 3.5 millimeter to XLR uh, adapter to plug this into an audio board as well. So what I did was uh, for backing up, for an audio uh, backup system, uh, I have this Zoom uh, F3 field recorder. Also, it records 32-bit float. Uh, I have this and then I plugged my TR um, XLR adapter into this uh, the field recorder, and I also had another uh, 3.5 uh, uh, millimeter cord cable TRS uh, cord and cable to plug directly into the audio board and also the adapter going into this end on the quarter inch uh, for this system that was at the restaurant that I was working at. Uh, but yeah, I had this as a backup system just in case if there was a dropout at any point of recording the video, recording, uh, recapturing the audio from the speakers. So I use this as a backup so I can record all of the audio and uh, having all of that audio as backup, just in case if anything happened with the, the mic receiver, uh, if there is, um, sometimes there's, uh, when you have a lot of people in one room and there's a lot of phones, that could potentially disrupt the connection of the wireless receiver. Um, I don't know technically why, but yeah, it's something that happens uh, especially at a big conference, um, you can get some dropout, some audio receiver, um, wireless with audio, uh, with wireless, uh, receivers, the audio can drop out. Um, if there's a lot of different devices, um, in a room that can potentially disrupt the signal. So I use this as backup to record the audio. So always have a backup audio recording system. Highly recommend that. But yeah, uh, hopefully this helps and improves your workflow. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, but yeah, that's my audio workflow system for capturing, wirelessly capturing audio for a panel and then baking that audio directly into your camera.